Seabass Herring. Select a small bunch of crystal hair, about 10 or 15 strands, and with a melt glue gun, just glue the strands together. Now, cut just above the glue mark. There you can see they're all being held together. Once your shrimp hook's in the vise, cut a length of easy body tube and force the eye through the stocking and make sure that it's the correct length of the pattern you wish to tie. Now secure your tying thread directly behind the hook eye and remove the access. Now the lengths of crystal hair that you glue together, thread these through the body tube and out behind the hook eye. You can now tie this down and secure it correctly. This will be the tail of the fish. Now, with the lighter, just singe the absolute ends of the tube. This will give the, give the tying thread something to hang on to. Otherwise, it will slip off. And secure the body tube right tight into the hook eye. Now, before you whip finish and remove the tying thread, just make sure that the body tube is lying correctly on the hook shank. Now you can whip finish and remove the tying thread. Turn the hook in the vise. Again, adjust the body if needed. And with your lighter, just singe the edges of the body tube in order that the uh, tying thread has something to grasp. Now, hold your tying thread in place with your left hand thing, finger and thumb and make a couple of turns or three before tightening. Then tie the tail in. It's very important that this is secure so it doesn't open afterwards. Secure the tail with a couple of half hitches and remove the tying thread. You can now trim the tail of the fish to the correct length. And if wished, colour the body with waterproof markers. Beginning always with the darkest colour on the back and working down to lighter colours underneath. A good colour combination is blue, green and a little yellow. Easy Body Tube takes very well to waterproof markers. Now, take your chosen colour of uh, Prisma tape eyes and apply one each side of the bait fish. Now you can mix your epoxy. When applying your epoxy to the fish head, make sure that you work it in through the openings of the tube. Give a solid head. And a little on the actual whippings of the uh, tail base.
Now with a melt glue gun and a wet forefinger and thumb, apply some melt glue and squeeze it flat. Make sure that you're holding the tail and the fish in correspondence to each other. Once you've flattened the melt glue and it's dry, you can begin to cut the tail to shape. First trim off the back of the tail and then take out the fork in the middle. Now you can just trim the tail to the required shape. And there you have a uh, extremely realistic bait fish fly. The Easy Body Tube is a stocking, which makes it extremely uh, hydro and aerodynamic and flexible, which in course makes it extremely easy to cast.